So let's consider a circle that's centered at the origin and has radius of 1. Because of the radius 1, we will call this a unit circle, the unit being one unit out. And that's given by the equation x squared plus y squared equals 1. Now, if we choose any point on this circle, as I've shown here, I can make a triangle out of it by drawing a straight line down the x-axis. And that gives me these two legs. This is going to be a right triangle. And the um, hypotenuse of this right triangle is the radius of the circle. Because this radius is 1, um, the trig functions of this uh, triangle simplify nicely. And we're going to be using the angle, the inside angle, to the x-axis. This is, this is theta here. Uh, it's always touching the, the um, x-axis and goes to the, to the radius, or the hypotenuse. So the sine of this angle is going to be opposite, which is this, this um, height here, y. That's the height here. And this length here is x because it's the x-coordinate, and the height is the y-coordinate. So the sine of this is going to be, um, I, I start here with cosine. The cosine of this is going to be adjacent, which is x, over the hypotenuse, which is just 1. That gives you just x. The sine is going to be the opposite, right? Opposite of that is going to be y. And the hypotenuse is always 1, so we get y. The tangent is going to be opposite y over adjacent x, y over x. And of course, the flip version of these is just going to be, well, flip to that is 1 over x, flip to this is 1 over y, and flip to this one is x over y. So it makes it nice to work with. And this is the important thing that cosine of theta is just x on the unit circle. We're going to be using that idea frequently. Now, if we have a different, um, the, the point is going around the circle, but it's in a different quadrant, we don't actually use um, this angle here. This would be theta, but because of how the triangle reads, we always want to drop the triangle straight down. This triangle here is called a reference triangle. And when we create a reference triangle, the angle we're using is the angle that touches the x-axis, wh wh wherever that's, uh, you know, if it's going to be the positive x or the negative x-axis. And the hypotenuse always wants to be this radius, this radius length 1. That way, the height is always y, and the length um, is always, or the base, is always x. And using this, we're going to use cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. It's going to be x over 1, which is just x. And of course, in this, in this case here, x is negative. So this is actually going to be a negative number, but that's encoded in this uh, coordinate of x. So it, it's just going to be some negative number there. Sine is going to be opposite over hypotenuse, so y over 1, and we get just y. And tangent is going to be opposite over adjacent, x, you get y over x, which is just that. Okay, for the next one, we're going to move down to, so we did this first quadrant, this second quadrant we just did. Here's the third quadrant. This is our angle theta. Uh, cosine is going to be adjacent, right? This is x, this is y. Adjacent over the hypotenuse, which is 1. We get opposite over the hypotenuse and opposite over adjacent. For this final one, again, this is our theta here. We have x, we have y. We get um, adjacent over hypotenuse, opposite over hypotenuse, and opposite over adjacent. And you can see in all these four things, we have the exact same definitions of sine, cosine, and tangent, and therefore secant, cosecant, and cotangent. And this is the important thing. Cosine is just the x-coordinate, and sine is just the y-coordinate. You should associate those two things together, uh, especially so when we use a unit circle to define the trigonometry. Cosine goes to x, sine goes to y.
All right, so we're going to look at the other trig functions of this angle using this information that's given. The first thing we should really do is create a reference triangle that has a reference angle in it um, that we can base all of our trigonometry on the unit circle. So because we know that pi over 2 is less than theta, which is less than pi, that means we know it's going to be in the, let's see, it's going to be in this quadrant here or sorry, the second quadrant, this the unit circle here. That's what we're going to be kind of basing our drawing on uh, with that angle. So uh, let's try it out. Let's draw the uh, second quadrant and create a little triangle out of it. So this is going to be our reference triangle. Here's our reference angle theta. And based on this, we know that uh, tangent is y over x, as I showed um, in all the previous um, quadrants, tangent is y over x, so we can think of this as y being 20 and x being 21. Now because we are in this quadrant, we know that x, the x-coordinate, is going to be a negative number. So even though it's a little bit weird to think of it like this, uh, if this is going to be 20 and this is going to be 21, since y is 20, x is 21, so that means the coordinate at this point is going to be 21 20 really it's going to be negative 21 20 and you can't really have a negative side on a triangle but the mathematics works out nicely if we put the negative on the 21 because it fits the the the, the restriction that we have for theta and if we do the trigonometry on this triangle it's going to work out uh perfectly to, to what we want so um, even though this is not technically correct and that you can't have a negative distance, uh, it works for our, our purposes. You can, if you want, just think about the fact that x being negative, y being positive. Always keep that in mind when you're looking at the trigonometry. So uh, we need to do, uh, we need to know all three sides to do right triangle trig. So all we have to do here is find the Pythagorean theorem or use it for this case. So we have 20 squared plus negative 21 squared equals c squared. That's going to give us, let's see, that's going to give us uh, 841 equals c squared. And when you take the square root of that, you're going to get 29. So this is, um, ha has a hypotenuse of 29. Now, this is not on the unit circle, and we're doing unit circle right triangle trig here. So what we need to do is make this radius, which would be the radius on the unit circle, equal to 1. That's going to give us the unit circle. So I'm going to, I'm going to do it like this, write 29 and divide it by 29. That way we have 1 on the hypotenuse. That makes it a unit circle um, triangle. Then I can just divide 20 and 21 by 29, and I will have what I need. That makes this, this portion here, the hypotenuse, actually equal to, equal to 1. And now the right triangle trig is very easy to see. So I've created this right triangle um, on the unit circle by, by making the radius equal to 1. As long as you do that, it's going to be on the unit circle. And now the right triangle trig is all I have to do. So sine theta, we, we know that this is going to be the y-coordinate. y-coordinate is here. 20 over 29. Cosine theta is going to be the x-coordinate, so negative 21 over 29. Tangent theta, we already have that. That's what we started with. You could do x over y, so um, sorry, uh, y over x, 20 over 29, divided by negative 21 over 29. That ends up being 20 um, over negative 21 or you know negative 20 over 21 same thing okay then the let's see cosecant is just going to be the flipped version of sine it's going to be 29 over 20. Um, secant is the flipped version of cosine so negative 29 over 21 and finally cotangent is negative 21 over 20. And there are the six trig functions for this triangle. Once again, make sure you find that reference triangle 
make it a unit triangle by dividing the, the hypotenuse by whatever it is equal to, in this case it was 29, so divide it by 29, and then divide all the other side lengths by that same hypotenuse, then the, the right triangle trig is just, it's really just right triangle trig at that point. So use that to find all the rest of the um, trig functions. Give it a try in number one.